Hey guys, it's Julia and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a system image once you created it, if you ever have to use it. So here I have my laptop, which we're going to try to boot it up. Let me just tell you, it doesn't boot. Which is why I need to use a system image. So, for whatever odd reason, it just gets stuck at the HP logo. It just sits here. It doesn't even have a loading thing. I, I let it sit here a couple like a couple minutes, let it sit here five minutes. After five minutes, it just shuts off the whole laptop and it never gets anywhere. The hard drive light's not even doing anything, it, which is the first light and then the second light's just lit because it's the power light. So the hard drive light's not even doing anything. That little glow is from the other light, which is kind of glowing in there. So it doesn't boot. So is what you could do if you have a like this I have Windows 10 but it doesn't matter what operating system I have a Windows 10 USB here and I can plug this into the computer and go to the BIOS and boot off of it which I already have it configured in the BIOS so I can just plug this in and turn the thing on and boot straight up to it or you could grab a Windows CD or when you're on the shutdown like in the start menu and you go to shut down if you hold shift and you click restart as you hold shift and you can get to the advanced options that's for windows 8 and higher and then you can go to your troubleshoot advanced settings which i'll show you how to get to that because I'm, I'm going to get to that and then i'll show you what to click from there so i'm i'm just going to shut it off now if your laptop doesn't boot obviously it's going to go in automatic repair which will allow us to get to those options which is the way i'm going to get to it because usually you're going to use the image if your computer doesn't start so you can see we got preparing automatic repair. So it's just preparing, so we can give it a second. So it may try to offer to do things like a restore or whatever, but for me, that's not gonna work. So if anything like that pops up, you're gonna hit cancel. Because obviously we don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. I wanna use my image, because I know the restore will fail. I know it'll fail for a fact this computer got kind of messed up probably beyond repairing the windows installed it's gonna need a re-image for, for sure so it's diagnosing okay so now we get this screen windows won't load correctly and see it wants to do system restore but we're not going to because I don't want to do that so I'm gonna click cancel now you could try to if you want to try to get your computer to boot up but it may or may not work but anyways it couldn't repair duh because I told it not to so you go to advanced options I just clicked advanced you're gonna go to troubleshoot go to advanced again and then you see all these options you could try some of these to see if they work like a system restore but that's not gonna work for me and you could try like startup repair which it did try to do startup repair which tried to restore the computer but I said no because I know it's not going to work, so why even try it? So, anyways, you're going to go to System Image Recovery, which is recover Windows using a specific system image file, which this will only work if you created a system image. So I made a video on how to create one. I'll put the link in the description. That's how to create one. And then once you have it, do this. Now, before you click this, if you put your image on a USB flash drive, which I actually do have a 64 gig flash drive in here, Oh wait, not that one, this one. Um, it's not on this though, I have it on another partition on my hard drive. So, anyways, if you had it on another external drive or flash drive, plug that in now before clicking on system image recovery, so that way it's gonna find it. If it's on a separate partition, you don't need to plug anything in, just click it and it's just gonna find it, hopefully. So, I'm gonna click it, and you can see it says select a system image backup, and it found it saying it's gonna be the latest system image from my D drive, which is actually should be I. I don't know why it says D in here. And it says the date it was created and everything to do with it. So basically, I'm going to click next because I want to restore from this system image. And then I just hit next. I don't click any of this. You can, I don't know, but I just say next. And then it tells you if it's interrupted or fails, it might not start or may not boot. So try to keep it plugged in. Don't turn it off in the middle of it. Just let it do its thing. So then we're gonna click finish. 
And it's gonna say all drives will be restored to a place with the data on the system image. Are you sure you want to continue? So yes, I want to continue because I want to restore the system image. So here we go. It's re-imaging. It's it is restoring the computer from the system image. It may take a few a few minutes to a few hours. So. I'm just gonna have to wait for this. For me, it takes like 45 minutes. I've done this like 10 times. I mean, legit 10 times, probably. Maybe in between five and 10 times, so. You're probably wondering, why am I using a system image right now? Well, I was testing out some people's programs and they coded it wrong and it crashed my computer. So things happen, people put wrong code sometimes and my computer didn't like it and it just crashed. So, basically, that's what happened. You know, I was the guinea pig, so, and I, I ran it, so it's my fault. <laughs> so, at least it's gonna work now after this. So it's restoring the image. I'll come back when it's done. Right now, the time, it is 5.41. So I'll let you know what time it is when I come back to let you know how long it takes. So I'm just gonna let this do its thing and I'll be back. All right guys, so we're back and it wants to restart because it said it's been restored and will automatically restart if you don't, but of course I'm gonna restart, why wouldn't I? And right now, it is 6.08, so I don't remember when I started this, but you guys know. So, let's see what's happening here. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's been a while since I had to go do some things. I just put it in sleep mode when it came on, but anyways, the system image should be restored. So now everything should be back up and running again. So it's just logging in right now. So let's just wait for it. It might be a little slow the first time, but for the most part, should we back up and running? I'll just pause it for now. Okay guys, so it just reached the desktop. You can see everything's back to how the system image looks. So basically the day you created the image is exactly what the computer is gonna look like. So the theme I had before is not here or anything. A few programs are missing, but pretty much it's back to how it was when you made the image. Now, no, you may wanna, wanna go in and do some Windows updates cause you're probably behind cause I think today was actually Patch Tuesday, so I just click on time. Come on, it might take a second to load up, but I'm pretty sure it was Patch Tuesday today, because it is Tuesday. So yep, it's Patch Tuesday today, so I'm gonna need to do some updates. And I think the image was actually behind already, even before Patch Tuesday, it was still behind. So yeah, because they released updates a couple days after I made the image. Isn't that nice? Yeah, very nice. So, yeah, that's how you use a system image, update all your programs, your softwares, your Windows updates, you can update Windows updates and settings, and then update and security for Windows 10, other operating systems like Windows 7 or Windows 8, go to Windows update, so. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this, hopefully this helps you guys with how to use a system image, you could boot up off a Windows disk and go to the advanced options, or you could... Do the thing where when you click shut down, like the shut down button, how it'll have restart, and then you hold shift and click on restart, which it's not popping up the menu. Yeah, you hover over restart, click restart, and hold shift, and it would go to the same thing that I was in after the start of repair when I hit advanced. And when you boot up to the Windows disk to get to it, there's a little thing in the corner that says repair your computer, but I think before then you have to hit next or something, so... Yeah. Hopefully this has helps. Um, I've had to use the system image several times, so... It's a lot of work, but... Anyways. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.